Hello everyone, Crazy Daydreams here, and today I am going to be adding myself on the internet. So you probably know what Webtoon is. It's an app where you can read online comics. And today I'm going to be showing you guys my favorites. So my all-time favorite, I believe this is the best Webtoon ever, is Watermelon. So the summary is orphan daddy young age, two stray cats have been struggle through life to find a place in the world through a series of unfortunate circumstances. Each sibling must eventually find their own path. So there's like 108 episodes out for free. There's like five you kind of have to buy. I've read all of them. I uh, I had to uh, uninstall Webtoon for a little bit and it made it same as if I hadn't read any of them. So it took me a minute to figure out where I was at when I got caught back up. And then, just if you want, just some other things to just like make you happy. Like, Toy and Samuel by. Robotot. This is a sweet little cartoon. And it's just heartwarming and adorable. And the art is super cute. And again, just a cute little one off make you smile webtoon is just a little bit chubby. They also have a Facebook page. Where they do stuff like this. We are Tony of Friends, Chubby, Chubby Toby, Tim and Weenie, Chubby Ua, Bella, Mara. Yeah, see, they also have a Facebook. Which I also <laughs> like that page. And then, let's see. My favorite, like, like, I love stories that are, like, play the game of chess, like, Game of Thrones kind of thing. In your phone, really good one. It's great. Let me read the thing. Tensions are brewing under the seemingly calm surface of the vas vas Vasilisus Empire, kingdom ruled by the Imperial family and the temple. Lady Medea Salon has lost her place next to the Grand Prince, Eros, but resolves to do whatever it would take to win back what's rightful, rightfully hers, or should we claim her phone? And oh, there are so many interesting things. And it's just, it's a good one. Y'all should read it. <laughs> like, can I read it? Oh, no, I haven't read it. Yep. Ten stars. It's 10 stores. Um, let's see, what, what's the next one I want to recommend? Um, I'm going to recommend all these. Not even Bones is a good one. I think it's based off a book. Um, Nita doesn't hurt supernatural beings and Servo. Body parts on the black market. Her mother does that. Nina only dissects the magical bodies for her mother. However, Nina's about to get a real taste of the family business and there's no turning back. Now Nita must decide whether she's willing to become a monster. So this is a good one. Season one's out. I swear it's based off. Okay, yeah, it's based on a book series. Uh, market of Monsters. Sounds interesting. I I'm gonna have to find the book, uh, the book series it's based off, but it's cool. Uh, let's see, we both. This is how to, uh, to describe it in one sentence. Zombies plus time travel. There you go. That's, that's it. Zombies plus 
time travels. It's great. Foe and supernatural powers and mutants too. Just for fun. What would you do if you were given a second chance to turn back time and relive your past? Or would you do what you did back then for fear of the butterfly effect? Or would you take a different course of action and let the future speak for itself? This one's really good. I love this so much. Okay. And then muted. It's a kind of Halloween vibe. I have two seasons out. I know, and so I just till season three muted. Um, it's based about this witch named Camilla on the full moon of her twenty-first year. The, the young witch Camilla Seven is expected to perform the traditional ritual to summon for the winged demon for her family's success and prosperity. But when the ritual goes wrong, it reveals the terrifying truth about herself and the secrets that threaten to tear her family apart. This is really good. This is really good. I recommend. Like, can I read it? Tad and I recommend. Another on the Halloweenish vibe. Unholy Blood is a vampire story, if you weren't able to guess from the title. And it's really good. I also laid it ten out of ten. When vampires destroy her chance to have a normal life, she's always wanted. Hyena is forced to draw out her darkest secret to rid the world of the merciless hunters that took it over ten years ago. With the support of a rising star in the like a police force, Hyena steps up to protect her loved ones and face her past and get her revenge. This is really good. So basically this girl this vampire, she's hyena, she's a pure blood vampire. And a lot of weaker vampires want to kill her because she's powerful but like isn't really adopting to vampire society. She's trying to be human. And she gets pissed when they try to interfere with her being human. Alright. So this one, Mage and the Demon King. Is gay AF. It's a lesbian, straight lesbian, cute romance, throwing magical pals. That's it. It kind of acts like a video game, the way the magic works, it's like an RPG. I'm venturous seek to take the demon queen's head, but a love struck young female mage wishes to take her hand. Join us, won't you, for this bodily tale of love and persistence set inside a real life. Oh, but she, yep. <laughs> it's, quite, it's quite adorable and funny. So yeah, th those are all the webtoons I recommend. They're really good. Thank you for watching.